been an awful good girl, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney too. Santa baby. Let's turn that down before we get blocked. Anyway. Um, we're going to be tying up a uh, over hackled uh, stimulator. If you don't know this already, there's a uh, fly tying challenge going on. It's uh, you get a pretty sweet uh, prize pack from Nature Spirit. Uh, the winner is going to be selected tomorrow night. This is probably backwards. I don't know how to reverse the text on this, but we got uh, Instagram here. We got YouTube live right here. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I got some thread. This is Semperfly. I don't know. I think it's 12 aught, and uh, I'm not going to take it off because this is a right bobbin. If you've never used this, this is one of my favorite bobbins because you can adjust the tension, and on this bigger spool, you just let it ride and go from there. Santa Cruz says that we need to write the nature spirit backwards. I think you just need to learn how to read front to back. So <laughs> I've got a, uh, this is not a typical dry fly hook. This is um, a fire hole outdoors. You can see it's wicked sharp right there. Just kind of see if I can get my finger under the skin for a little bit. You can see right there, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, what's up, vet? Uh, fly fishing vet and I were chatting yesterday. His ducks beat my ute, so kind of a bummer. But anyway, um, everybody's saying hello. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't have time to just hang out for a minute, um, like I said, it's going to be on uh, YouTube Live, and we're just going to have a little bit of fun here. So this is nothing serious, but that's kind of the norm. So we're gonna start our thread here and I'm just going to go back to the bend. Don't need touching wraps. We're not gonna get too critical and I'll work my way back up to the uh, midway point. I've been really testing out these uh, scissors by uh, um, Frankenfly. I'm just trying to find his logo. It's probably backwards. I know Deer Creek makes, makes them. What's up Fly Warrior? Welcome to the party. And uh, they're wicked sharp scissors. So we got to get out some elk hair. It's clearly labeled. Or I've got some deer hair mixed in here. But I'm going to go with the uh, the bleached uh, white for this because of the color of feathers we're going to be using. Um, you, I'll watch your whole live. I got a giveaway announcement after your live. So Vet's going to be doing a giveaway. Um, so hang out there. Now you can see when um, I'm working through this elk hair patch, this is all right. I could do a little bit better. I've done better, but all I do is I kind of use my scissors to kind of weave a little section in there and I lay it on my flat desk and I just hold those scissors down flush, give them a cut. What's up, Kevin? How are you, dude? Uh, welcome to the party. And then all you do is you can use a comb, but in all reality, we just need to get some of these shorter hairs and fluff out. So you can see all I'm doing is just using my fingers. I'm pinching literally the top section here. So anything that's left over should be gone. So um, I'm gonna throw these in a little hair stacker. I've been, this is the first hair stacker I think I bought. I bought it at a fly shop up in Park City and um, does the job. It's, I've kind of really grown used to um, these, uh, these hair stackers here. I really like these, but I can't seem to find my small one. Thanks, Kevin, dude. Hope all is well with you, man. All right, so a good rule of thumb, a lot of people have been messaging me about stimulators, how they look, how they, um, I'm going to reach in front of the camera here, um, how they look. And this is maybe not the best example of one. I can't grab it because I got this hair stack, but 
you can see right here, I had a little bit of fun with this one, but we're talking proportions. So if we got the shank of the hook, I usually do the tail, the, the hook gap. That's kind of a thing I do as a, you know, that way I know it's proportionate. So if I have a smaller hook, I know that my tail is gonna be smaller. And then I usually do a third on the head of the hook shank. And then the wing, if I was to lay this wing down, it's gonna go almost to the tips of my tail. So we're talking proportions. The only reason that's important is if you're gonna be tying up, you know, a bunch of them or, you know, you tie it up your three, that way you know, hey, this short tail, so right there measured, and I'm not going off the point because it comes in, I'm going off of the bottom there. So then all I'm gonna do is right there at the bend, change hands, and then I'm gonna do a loose wrap right there, just nice and loose. You can see some of that elk hair is not as long, so I just loosely wrap that, and we're golden. So I'll come back here, pinch it, and I'll do a little bit better wrapping job right there. And then work my way down the shank of this hook. As I pull up that deer hair, I'm kind of pulling it off the shank. And you can see how it just lays it down real nice right there on the top. And then I'll work my way back up with a little bit of a tighter wrap and then zigzag it. And if you're going to do a floss body or a naked stimulator, you know, you kind of need to be mindful of this elk and lay down, you know, your wraps are a little bit more important. The shuttlecock fly variant. Um, I will have to check that out. I'm not familiar with the shuttlecock exactly, the definition. I know they're similar, but I'm not uh, aware of what the exact difference is at this time. If you uh, ask me the name of people I met, I'm the worst person in the world with names. I'm the worst person in the world with uh, um, remembering like actors or famous people. And like I was in Hawaii one time and I met this guy and I'm like, dude, you're the best actor in this movie, this movie, this movie. I loved all your jokes and I didn't even know his name. I couldn't remember it. So my sister hates me because I knew. You know, I'm always, anytime I go somewhere, I usually meet somebody that's kind of a actor and she lives for that. And I don't really care. And maybe that's why uh, um, I meet them. I don't know. All right. Okay. So, sorry. Little trick to build that up so it uh, rides flat. You can either one, build up a hump of thread right here. Um, I think that's a Charlie Craven technique. I just do a slide of thread, pull it up against there. And then while I'm holding this, I do a loose wrap. So I go under, loose wrap over the top. You can see how that kind of just creates it flat. Um, if you crank down on this too much right here, it's gonna splay it, which can be effective. Um, just kind of, I guess, depends what you're going for. So let's just clean up this body. Like I said, this is gonna be an over hackled stimulator. So it doesn't really matter, um, but we're just going to clean up this body. And the way I'm doing that is just eyeballing the taper. But I mean, I don't think it's gonna matter. And you could technically lay down some dubbing to make your hackle a little bit better, but this is gonna be just wicked dirty, so. Um, I kind of went through and selected some hackle that I thought was about the same colors or sizes in different colors. And I don't really know how we're going to do this or if it's even going to work out. So let's just go ahead and get started. And if anybody has a hackle color that they, they want me to throw in this, I'll see if I have it. But at this point, you might be a little late to the show. So... I'm just going to prep it, go ahead and just tie this in by the stem on my side. Usually I tie them in on your side, but I don't really know what I'm doing. And we'll get our thread out of the way. So let's go ahead and make sure that's oriented going the right way, because once we get this first hackle going, the rest of it's just going to be easy peasy pumpkin squeezy. So we'll kind of just press those fibers back and this is some good old 
I think everything we're using here is some whiting farms, some sort of crate of whiting farms. And once we get most of these going, we're going to be golden, man. This thing's going to look killer. So I'm not afraid to rip this back and preen these back to get these oriented so they're just super stacked and super tight. If you are, that's cool too. You can strip your hackle. You can, I don't know, do whatever you want. That's why we tie flies so that we can uh, get harassed for what we do and how we do it. So that's not super clean tie off there, but like I said, it doesn't matter. We're gonna trim that out, save it. How do you like that half hitch bobbin? I'm a nerd. Uh, the half hitch one's all right. It's, uh, I've had uh, some issues. I've cut thread um, with it, but uh, it comes in handy. Uh, sometimes, I, I'll be honest, I actually don't use it as the half hitch. But the, uh, the key to creating what we're gonna do tonight and make it a little bit of fun is I gotta trim out this color. Okay, so we are golden. If you haven't figured out what we're doing yet with all these colors, you need to get you some merry mashup and join my uh, live feed more. All right, so that's pretty darn sexy starting out. Okay, so the key is if we go to, that's too big. I kind of want to ramp this up a little bit. So we're going to uh, pick some hackles. Oh, perfect. Okay. So we're going to be ramping this up. I'm going to, this is a pretty thick stem on this purple. So I'm going to tear off a bunch of this to get it down, trim it up. Yeah, the Raid Zap bobbins, I've been trying those out. I really like the, uh, the tungsten uh, or carbide. Uh, um, tube. I can't remember if I said this. I did a YouTube video when I got it, and I think I said that I had a, a bobbin that was of equal, what's the correct word, of equal caliber, and the uh, tube broke, and there's no option to replace it. And so I, I played around with it and got it fixed. And now we're golden with it, but it was kind of a pain. Whereas the raid zap, I think you can just interchange the bobbins, which is the bobbin tips, the tubes, I mean, which is cool. I don't want that orange going into this purple. So we're going to preen all this hackle as we go. A little trick of the game changer world here. So. Yeah, the only issue I had with that Raid Zap bobbin is it was like out of the box loose. Whereas the competitor bobbin that's equally as cool seems to just work perfect right out of the box. So that was the only, but I mean, all you do is you just bend the arms. All right, we're getting into this. If you're not afraid to preen your hackle thinking it's going to come apart, Buy some better hackle. Store it better. As you can see, I'm being pretty manhandle aggressive on this with my sausage uh, fingers. And let's go ahead and tie this off. We did about, what, three, four wraps there. Does anybody know what we're doing here yet? We're having a lot of fun tonight. Uh, best resin for streamers and best for nymphs. Well, what are you using it for on streamers? You're building heads or I don't know what you're using that resin for um, on your streamers without a little bit more information. Because if you're building heads, technically any thick resin would be nice. Um, I don't think any of them I've never had issues with, but it's the final coat that you really want to worry about, and that's where you want something that's like a no tack UV for sure. I love the Simperfly no tack UV for that finished coat. And if you want something a little thinner, 
I've been using the Solarez Bone Dry. So I had this Raid Zap thin and the uh, tip clogged up on me. Um, so for heads, what I do is I just throw down some of this thick, build up the head because this is flexible. And then I, I coat it afterwards with something. Yeah, this is for the uh, Nature Spirit Stimmy Challenge. I don't think I can win though, since technically I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of hosting it in a way, um, but I'm not going to be posting the winner. So you gotta follow uh, Nature Spirit to figure out who wins. Um, and I think they're posting that Monday, I think. Don't quote me, because uh, we haven't. I haven't talked to them about that. I've, I've had a really, really awesome, fun week of work that has not gone as smooth as normal. So, all right, we are palmering this hackle. What's up, Fly Ventures? How are you? We're getting into this. This is an interesting. Uh, Technique I've never uh, tried before. We're making an overhackled stimulator that is going to have a multicolor effect here. Okay, that might be the ticket right there. So we'll go ahead and tie that off with some wraps in front and behind. Close that off. Rotate and trim. Okay, I'm gonna save that feather, that was a good one. All right. How's that looking on your guys' end? We got a color scheme going on. Can you see those colors? So we got uh, Charlie Craven's, I don't remember what he called it, furnace, fiery furnace. Actually, all three of those are Charlie Craven's dyed. Oh, so any random thick followed by a thin, no tack. So I've never had an issue with any of the thins or thicks. So they all, I've used some uh, golf. I've used uh, loon. I've used, now there's one, I'm not going to mention it because I don't like saying anything bad, but there's a resin that has a smell that I didn't personally care for, but it still works. So whatever. There's a resin known for the smell. It'd be cool. Tie one PB and J. Well, I don't know, man. They don't have hackle that comes out. I only eat PB and J's that are, you know, coming out of the same squeeze tube. I'm just kidding. That's gross. I can't believe we've come to that laziness. You can't open two jars. Oh yeah, that's that's laying down really nice right there. Okay, let's get this really nice and over hackled. I think this is gonna look like a freaking mothball. I got these one fibers that just aren't cooperating right here on the underside. So you're gonna see all my thumbs and I might have gone a little heavy there on the white or cream or whatever color this is. Go ahead and trim that out. Save that one. We'll trim this up, get it a little bit cleaner. Just kind of bring those down and attach them to our hook shank. Okay, we are golden on that one now. Bring those back, build it up. Okay, if you didn't notice my uh, spinning technique, I've I spun a bobbin around a couple times. Dude, this is looking like a, <laughs> this is, yeah, is uh, Alan is uh, Campbell still on here? This is looking like one of his deer hair poppers. Um, we're uh, Bevan Fly Fishing NZ that's on YouTube. We're tying up a fun overhackled stimulator here. So this is why, see that one's stepping down. I don't want that. So let's, let's pick a different one out of this. This is uh, 
Oh, copper olive, really neat color. And let's see how we're doing on size. See, that's a little bit too small. I went a little bit big on that white. So I gotta get down here on the underside now. Get a little bit one that's a little bit more webby. Perfect. You can see my uh, hackle gauge right there. Works really effective. Oh, keep, uh, you know, you could uh, strip the hackle and make this like ultra, ultra pretty if you were interested in doing so. We're going to uh, not do that because uh, hackle's expensive. You saw a bug the other day that looked just like this? No way. No way. I'm questioning what sort of brownie you had before you went fishing. Oh, yeah, that's going to lay down nice. Nice and yellow. It's a little bit smaller than I was hoping, but it will work. It will get the point across of what we're doing here. Most of this is going to be covered up by the wing anyway. So we're spending all this time for, for no reason. We were going to do a, a joint. Um, I was trying to get Mr. DeMuth to do a joint live, but apparently he got off the vice, you know, being two hours ahead. Anybody's got a cell, tell him to, to get on. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Let's go ahead and tie this off. Getting a little sloppy. We got a lot of hackle on there. All right, cut that out. Oh, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. How did that happen? Now just pull it out. Let's start over. Let's do that. That's why you always do a wrap in front. I got a little uh, cocky there thinking it would hold by the time I got up to do this wrap, and it didn't. So we'll just do that again. Technically, you could have uh, reused that hackle, but uh, I'll be honest, these, uh, I've got enough hackle, I don't read, I don't know, not, whatever. Anyway, we're not going to reuse, we're going to put on new, because if you reuse, you don't get the, uh, the likes. You don't get the uh, the bro staff shout outs. You don't get the uh, sponsorship by Mountain Dew. I'm trying to get this underside. It just doesn't want to lean back. Maybe it needs a little hip hop action music going. You know that uh, big pun, I lean back, I lean back. I feel really awkward doing this. It's like a game changer, man. The way I'm preening these hackle fibers, just trying to pack them in there. This thing's gonna float like beast. Okay, we got the wraps in behind, we got the wrap in front, wrap behind, wrap in front. We're golden now. Let's clean that up, pull back. Um, it's kind of fun. How's it looking on your guys' side? Oh, yeah. See that coloration there? Bro staff. All right. So I'm going to take a moment now to talk about sponsorship. Mary Mashup. Oh. I'm just kidding. How long have I been tying now? Um, I think we started this 20 minutes ago. So about 20 minutes. All right. Now, all this work on this pretty hackle, 
what you want to do is you want to take a mathematical formula from the eye to the tail, divide it by how many colors. So there's five colors. So we're going to take the square root of the 45 degree angle and take it and cut it. So it's about a 20 degree angle. And oh, that feels bad. Oh, I don't like doing that. Then I'll come in here and just do a little snip, snip, a little shorter. No, I feel bad doing that, but that's all for those chickens gave their lives for beautiful feathers, and they are beautiful. That's kind of what I was thinking, and actually, uh, I didn't think it would look so much like a bomber, but it does. Good call on that. There was a really sick couple bombers that guys tied for their stimulator in the contest, and they are just sick. They did bombers but made them stimulators. I don't know if that's called a bomber still, but... Too much math. If you can't do math in your head, don't get it in the fly time. All right, so we want this to line up. So that if it was to come down, it would hit right there. So not quite to where my, uh, what's the correct word? Um, man, I don't think I could have done a better job on that. It's almost like I did a Bob Clouser method there of, uh, I cut one thread, one freaking hair right here in the bottom. Get it out of there. All right, that looked pretty freaking good. Like uh, that was almost like a Bob Clouser uh, cut, the way that elk hair just tapered down real nice. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all the colors on the way back up. So maybe I'll just focus on my favorites. And I need to lay down something so I can mat that back. So what I found is if you use all thread right there, it kind of creates a, uh, a problem later in life. So I'm going to use some uh, just some ice dub here. Spin it on. Kind of push those fibers back. All right, dude. Uh, Bivan Fly Fishing NZ. Peace out, dude. Sunday. Oh, yeah, New Zealand's ahead of us, huh? So look how that laid down and pushed that hackle back, and then I'm just going to back over a little bit. I don't know why dubbing will push that hackle back, but the thread just causes issues. All right, so we started with the, uh, the furnace. So let's go back to the furnace. What's up, Jake? How are you, man? Uh, I wouldn't call this innovative. It's just uh, stupid having fun on device. Maybe it's innovative in some hatch somewhere. It sounds like one of those Disney songs. Somewhere out there. What movie is that? That's going to kill me now. You know, I just realized I don't know where my hackle pliers are. Oh, no. Oh, dude, you can totally see the color change here. Okay, and then I'll just tidy that up, throw it over, get a couple, use that to our benefit. Go ahead and just trim that out. I got too much of a ramp there, dude, on your side. I couldn't see that. I was wondering why that was acting up. Pull those back. Crank down with some good tight wraps right in there. Clean that up. Killer, killer, uh, if you want smoother heads, um, smoother underbodies is the key. Okay, so we went from that to purple. 
So let's grab this purple. It's a little bit large. Do I have another purple? No, crap. We can just use the tip mainly to match that. No, it's gonna be too big. Dang it. Let's get out the, the purple. This is some of uh, Charlie's dyed purple, I believe. So I'm looking for something in the medium range here. And I am really, really good at guessing. So, bam. Okay. Go ahead and prep that. Just get some of that fluff off. Tie that in on that side. What is that? Is that ice tub right there on your side? Why didn't anybody tell me that was there? Build up a nice little ramp there. Okay, we're golden. Start spinning the hackle. The key is to always look at the other side of the fly because usually my my side always looks really good. But then, you know, the other side can maybe look not so good. This kind of looking rainbow esque. Nobody's got issues against rainbow flies, do they? Trim out that purple. And let's preen those back so we can stack them in there. Nice and tight. That purple's really struggling, man. Okay, we got the purple. So next would be the green. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, there's some ice stub on this side. Where? I think I got it, Bruce. Okay, so next would be the green. Man, the pressure now. This is getting pretty hot and heavy here. There's a lot of chicken feathers on here. Okay, somebody tried to call me. Apparently they're not on the gram right now. Otherwise, they know I'm live. I'll call her back. I know who was my sister. She actually usually watches live. So I'm surprised that she is not watching. I'll have to unfriend her. Okay. That green looks killer. Okay. Hey, uh, Dom N7. Thank you, brother. I'm glad somebody gets a kick out of what I do sometimes because I sure do have fun on the device occasionally. Man, I'm really liking this thing. This is going to make a bomb photo. If I could just, I don't like that, but whatever. I think that orange furnace was a little bit short at this point. I'm not going to go redo it, though. So next is the white. Um, it's right here. Man, keeping these feathers in tackers. Hard work. Okay, that's sized up good. Pull those back. Like I said, don't be afraid to tug on that hackle. Because if you can't, you know, 
tug on it, it's not going to survive a hit. A hit meaning a fish devouring it down to its belly. All right, we are, oh gosh, what happened there? Something's going on. Something's going on on this underside. Of course, maybe I'm a little bit too aggressive with this hackle. I don't know. I don't do everything right. Don't do everything wrong. This white is not cooperating how it should. So what on earth is going on with this? It's sliding. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. It's sliding. Sorry. I want this. I can't stop now. It's, you know, it's getting to the sweet stage and it's sliding on me. It shouldn't be, but it is. It's that uh, awesome. Okay, so if you do, if you're not using wax thread, like I probably should have been using right now for this part of this little trick. What's the smallest? Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to tie up a small one. So throw a little bit of wax on there or cobbler's wax or something. Get it in there and wax that right there. So that way the hackle stem has something to grip to as you come down. Let's see if that solves our issue. I bet you it will. Uh, the key is not to get it on your fingers because I hate that feeling. Sorry, I gotta focus for a second. Get two wraps down there. Just wanna make sure that does not come undone. Pull everything back. Now should I really kinda of go over the top here and try and get a yellow in there? Let's do it. Um, small stimulator I've ever tied, I don't know. Um, 16 maybe. I generally don't time smaller than that. So I usually attach a dropper. All right, let's get this yellow. We're going, we're going all in now. We are all in this fly. Yeah, that turned out freakishly awesome right there. That yellow, I'm glad I tried it to squeeze it in. Okay, let's tie that off. Sorry if you're commenting, but I am on all focus DEFCON 9. Bam. Trim that out. Grab a little micro whip finisher here. Okay, I'm gonna do a, a whip finish. And I was uh, not careful with that hackle coming off the front because I'm gonna show you a little secret here. Okay, you're gonna use this little cautery tool here if you don't have one. Um, this is mainly if you want it to look super, super clean, but um, or people think that. What I use it for is I don't want uh, anything obstructing my eye. So sometimes when I get a lot of hackle coming off the front, it's not, uh, 
pleasing to me to be on the river and have to like deal with a what's the correct word uh oh no that's why we whip finish that's why i did all those whip finishes let's slide this on just in case before anything weird goes on Notice I'm keeping that thread super, super short. Just want to make sure that I didn't get, I had one hair slide out and I was trying to get a little too crazy there. I might've got the hook shank a little too hot, which I'm known to do. Yep, see, I got the hook shank too hot and that, that hair, that thread just melted right off. Okay. We're golden. Cleaned up. Go ahead and wrap in front of that. So then we'll do another wet finish. Yeah. Um, I guess everyone already answered where to get those. So should be golden on that question. And I'm still on the same original batteries. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this uh, thin resin here. I'm just going to take my bodkin and dip it in there. Just get it a little bit saturated. Just rub that right on there. Like notice how there's not even a, if there's a drip, you got too much. I would rather apply five coats then apply, oh, we got a drip, let's do it. I was gonna say then apply a drip, but we just successfully did that. It's probably because you guys are watching. Everything went a little smoother. Now I'm just gonna work that around. This uh, thin resin, the reason I'm using that is it builds up a little bit and soaks into it. And then uh, you wanna make sure you don't cure it while you got the, the lid off. So I'm just holding the uh, the tool to the back side of me right now. And then I'll just cure that up. And I want it to be just a really nice head. So I'm gonna do maybe two, three coats. If, if I hadn't crowded the eye so much, getting that extra yellow uh, hackle in, sometimes you can just do uh, one or two of these little techniques I'm doing. Or if you've got that really cool fancy injector method, you can lay that down too. But this is almost like the salmon fly, you know, building up the head. I know some of those guys do like, shoot, I don't know, five to seven coats. So there we go. That is the... Uh, over hackled stimulator used a bunch of different colors of thread had a lot of fun with it let's check out how it looks it's looking pretty sexy on my side so there's that there's that should float pretty good the wing is i could have spread it out a little bit more little trick if you want, you can lift that wing and apply a little bit of thick resin. But that, uh, basically we just don't want it to tipsy. And the way you could do that is just trim this bottom as well. So, there we go. Not a lot of uh, cool, innovative concepts here, but we uh, had a lot of fun with this one. So, Thanks for uh, tuning in live. If you uh, got any questions, shout me a DM. But if you uh, missed this, it'll be on um, um, YouTube live. And you guys have one more day to enter the um, stimulator, nature spirit stimulator challenge. I know that there's like 
a uh, hundred and maybe closer to 200 entries tonight. I haven't checked uh, for a while. I checked earlier today. So, you know, there's only one prize pack, but, uh, you know, don't be, don't hesitate to enter. I've had a few people say, well, you know, everyone's doing really cool stuff. Hey, what's up, Zach? They say uh, that they, you know, they don't want to enter because they've seen the flies that are there. Well, um, dude, enter. It's all about meeting people. It's all about learning. And it's all about just, you know, posting that first fly in the contest. And after that, the rest of these challenges, if we continue to do them, um, you're golden. You'll just be like, I'm entering, no question. Because um, it's, it's not about the actual winning. It's not about the prize pack, in my opinion. It's about beating the algorithm and uh, meeting new tires that like to try and challenge themselves to tie a new pattern, tie a new uh, – tie something that they've never tied. Uh, that's kind of the fun of it. So um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.